Okay, wait, thank you so much for coming. Oh my God, thanks for having me. <laughs> yes, no, I'm so excited. Did You just got off tour. I did, yeah. With Whitney Cummings? Yep. How so, was it? I was watching your TikTok. So awesome. <laughs> it was um, my first time ever performing sober when I got there. Yeah, sober? Be- sober, because I usually have like four to five drinks. Naturally. That's like just kind of, I'm, I'm like, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. I am, like functioning, it's no, fine. But, no, I, and like when you're performing in front of that many people, like it's like four to five to take the edge. Off. Yeah. Six to seven to feel good. Yeah. Eight and nine to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got I got there and um in the green room there wasn't any alcohol. Yeah. And I was like Mayday. Oh, oh I've never done this before. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm just gonna go run to the the bar out like front and in Texas where we were. Yeah. Oh no, the Bible Bell there is like are dry rules. bars. Yes. Yeah. So you can't bring the liquor from the front of the house to the back of the house. You're like, I'm the talent. And I, well, I I don't act that way <laughs> yeah. at all. You should start. Like, yeah. Oh, yes, that makes sense. I love that rule. I'm really glad we voted for that as a Texas United. Yeah. <laughs> and, Definitely, I don't see an issue here. Yeah. I'm going to vomit. <laughs> and so my first ever show with her, I did my first ever sober set. And... Oh. Of course it was better than usual because <laughs> you could that think. totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was kind of bummed that it was the best I've done. Right. Because like, I was like, is this a sign? Does that mean I have to stop? <laughs> right. Yeah, I wasn't looking for this. Yeah. <laughs> so but it was great. <laughs> did you, like, did you perform sober afterwards or was that the one and only so for her shows i've been so i'm like started sober might as well just keep going sober oh my god good for you so that's been great but when it's my yeah. shows in the city i go yeah no you gotta be you yeah, <laughs> yeah they're coming to see you <laughs> wow yeah. how wait how did you get into stand-up how did you meet whitney oh like that's where like that's huge crazy right? stuff yeah. yeah it's it's all been really nuts um so I moved to New York, and as soon as I moved to New York, it was like COVID okay, times. Yeah. I moved mm-hmm. with my best friend. She had to move here for a job. Brianna, yes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all in the you plan. Go, okay. yes. yes, I've been doing my research. <laughs> yeah. You guys have been friends forever. Yeah, since right? we were ten. So, oh my god, she had to move to New York, and she was like, "Do you want to come with me?" And yeah, I was like, like "Yeah, absolutely." Duh. I was taking a semester off from college because it was mm-hmm. COVID. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, obviously. The whole world's ending. Yeah, I like, wanted to end in New York. Like, let's just go out with a bang. This is, yeah. this is the end. My favorite movie. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, I moved here. And then um, I saw that there was a comedy show that was doing comedy. <laughs> 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 Which is crazy. Yeah. It's in the name, but it could be anything. It blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but they were doing it um, like outside on the street. And so like yeah. I would go to that and just kind of watch. And then like they would have like open mics at the end kind of mm-hmm. thing. And so I started doing that. Oh, nice. And so for the last three years, I did it like on and off. Mm-hmm. But like not as like a hobby, yeah. Like, like and I wasn't taking it like serious, which is like a oxymoron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Comedy, <laughs> yeah. Ha ha. Serious. <laughs> yeah. But um, since I met Whitney, I've been trying to go up every night. Like, oh, that's this, amazing. And I found out that oh shit, yeah, this is what I love to do. So, oh my god, oh that's amazing. Yeah, and it is such hard work. I mean, you know, yeah. My girlfriend's a comedian, mm-hmm. and she's like out literally every night still. And yeah. like the drive that it takes, I could never. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot, and it's like terrifying. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I look at it. It's like it's either that or therapy, right? <laughs> so that yeah, that. <laughs> therapy scarier. <laughs> I don't like therapy. Yeah, one on one. Yeah, with an old Jew. Jewish lady, no thank you. Well, That's I picked me, a though. young little lady. I picked a young little lad who was oh, probably really? younger than me, and I was like, <laughs> you're, you're like, dumb. <laughs> right. What do you know? Like you're, Who's therapizing who? I'm literally 25. You must be 12. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's telling you all of his issues. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I want my money back. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm paying for friendship. <laughs> right. But we're not friends. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to hang out after this. What's going on here? <laughs> How'd you meet Whitney? Um, so we were in LA kind of like how you're in New York we were like looking for guests for yeah. the pod oh yeah and um Whitney had been on BFFs which is okay. a podcast that Brianna does with yes. Josh and Dave Josh Richards and 
Jay is my mm-hmm. boss. Yeah, I want to talk about them too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about everybody. I will get into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Whitney had done BFFs, and so Brie was like, "Oh, like let's let's see if she'd want to do our podcast." She came over. It was awesome. We hit it off. Middle of the podcast, she goes, "You're funny." You should open for me. You're like for, coming from you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> are you sure? That's nice. That was fun, like fun for you to say. <laughs> and like I didn't take it serious. Yeah. And then she invited us on to her podcast the next day. And she was like, are you getting ready? Oh, my God. I'm she's like, dead serious. For what? <laughs> yeah. And she was like, you You said you were going to open. I was like, I thought you were pulling my chain. Like, I thought you were <laughs> right. messing yeah. with me. Yank, yank. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, well, that would have been evil. I'm like, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> Literally. Right? No, I hear she's, like, very gracious, like, really giving, just one of the best. Incredible. Like, it, it's like, and she is such, I... Um, this this terminology, I'm looking for a better word, but she's a boss. Give it to me, yeah. girl boss. <laughs> she's a girl boss, but like, just say I it. Don't like that word, but like, it, there's no other way to describe it. Like, she is just like, right. like, oh, she's like so fascinating to watch because she like knows who she is. Mm-hmm. She knows what she wants, and she, it just, it's just, it's, fa- it's fascinating to watch because oh, me, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry I broke my leg. <laughs> Can I please have some help? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm a baby and a victim. <laughs> I need you to mother me. I'm, like, I'm a child. <laughs> yeah. But like so great to learn under her because she was like one of the first, I feel. And maybe like our generation, me shitting on all of the like female comics before. <laughs> but like she's like, I don't know, her Nikki Glazer, mm-hmm. like doing it for so long. And even watching like my girlfriend, she's been doing it for 10 years. And I remember one of the first times, which like I don't mean this to be demeaning. I know like strangers say it, but it's like, oh my God, you're so brave. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's these things you're, that you can't right. tiptoe around. Like you sometimes you just have to say it. Like it just rings true when like when a stranger will tell her that I'm like they don't fucking know you but (laughs) when I am like no it's so true because you're on and I mean you know like you're on probably a list a roster of all men like Mm -hmm. a lot I feel like yeah comedy was like a boys club for a long time so watching these like girls get up there and dominate I'm like fuck yeah yeah like Nikki women have been crushing Actually, yeah. like I feel like Nikki Glazer like popped off with the roast, mm-hmm. and I had seen her maybe a couple months before she was a doing doing a show with Robbie, and she was just like cracking jokes about Botox and filler. I'm like, this is my people. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what are we oh, laughing wow, at? There we go. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's the jokes. The jokes for us. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like they see me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Do you? How do you feel coming off? Like, okay, so how many cities did you go to? So I. On top of um, starting Whitney's tour, I was also on tour for Plan Brie. I saw that. And so it was um, six cities for Plan Brie, two mm. cities for Whitney, and I was going, like, back and forth because okay. they were Texas shows. So I would go to the Plan Brie show, mm. back to Texas, Plan Brie show, back to Texas. Okay, okay. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, wow, Texas this is, is your home base, like, whether you like it or not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because they were doing, like, a – like, they were there for the whole weekend. Okay. And I I had to go back and forth. But it was like it was sick. I was like, this is like this is life on the road. <laughs> <laughs> it's made for you and only you. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait, I love this. Like, I love this new dog. city life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel like it fits you. Yeah, I like it. (laughs) It's good shit. I went on tour with Dancing with the Stars, Well, and I will not shut the fuck up about it because it was the worst thing I've ever done. I I mean, that doesn't really sound awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so wait, can you please uh, fill me in on the insides and outs of that? Yeah. (laughs) The insides were a decrepit tour bus. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, We were sharing there was like 12 of us and I think there was like 10 bunks mm. <laughs> that at one point people were sleeping on the floor which that is a liability but what's done is done yeah I mean yeah <laughs> what, what network is this always uh, um, this is this is Peacock right <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dancing with the Stars is Disney Plus and ABC oh okay now but the tour was like Live Nation so they yeah they're all bad they're, <laughs> they're all terrible I'm just kidding I would love a role someday no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you're casting. <laughs> I actually yeah. love Disney. <laughs> Disney Plus. <laughs> You've never had a plus size princess. <laughs> yeah. Come on. There's still time. 
Um, but no, we were on a bus. So it was like, in, were you on a bus? Um, no. So we were, we just flew. Um, okay, like, that's nice. Just that is it. tour life. That's yeah. better, I feel. We have done the bus part before. Did um, you like that too? I love that. You're like but a we frat were, boy at heart. Uh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I really am, and it kind of stinks. I actually said that last night at the top of my set in Brooklyn. Did you? <laughs> I, like, walked out, and I was like, I already know you guys don't fuck with me. <laughs> this is going to probably suck for both of us. <laughs> I know what's going on here. Yeah. I'm in on it. I'm like, guys, no, like, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no. I'm what like, well, I might be gay. It's half of my set. <laughs> you might like that. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, it's either full gay or no. <laughs> yeah, we can't take in the middle. I'm like, are you gay? I'm newly gay. Oh yes, I know. Yeah, I um see. My whole thing is, I don't know. Totally, you don't know until you know. Yeah. So you're on the right track. I'm like, I'm you know, I'm and keeping it open. Yeah, I'm, um, you have to. Yeah, it's like half of my set that like I'm just like a very confused young lady <laughs> in all facets and frat boy yeah. one thing I'm not confused is my frat boy identity I will stand with that that's where I feel comfortable yeah. <laughs> and I don't know who I am yeah. no I have a friend like you and I'm always calling her frat boy yeah. and I'm like I know like this is your soul yeah, but I it's the best it. yeah no you're well and you're from Boston yeah is that like born and bred like yeah, it's um, yeah, it's like uh, how do, I, how do I put this nicely? There's not, I mean, not all the girls are walking around like they have marbles in their mouth like me, yeah. but um, a, a, a good select, I mean, the, the ones I like, literally. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that sounds like a good characteristic, like a, a character trait I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's you know what, it's grit. <laughs> right? <great>. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to fuck with lung cancer? Yeah. You're one of me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm all in. I'm never quitting. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm never quitting. No, I feel like it's back. Yeah. Maybe it's like, yeah, we're like forcing it on people maybe, but it's like the boomerang of the vape. Yes. Like nobody really wants to vape all the time. We're all just like looking for a ciggy. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Definitely. No, I did. I just I did just start um, smoking cigarettes when I'm drunk, but only the skinny, sexy ones. Yes. The I Virginia those Slims. Little, those, oh my God, Capris. Oh my, oh, yes. Same. Love those. And the menthols. LA like didn't fully stop selling cigarettes. They just stopped selling menthols. I'm I like, know. okay. This is really making a difference. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, we're going to do it. We're right. just not going to be happy about it. Exactly. Just put the menthols back. Please. Come on. Ugh, too many truth ads <laughs> really got to people. <laughs> um, but listening to Plan Brie, you, is it Brie or Brianna? Brie or Brianna. Okay. Yeah. Let you guys like your accents together. It's kind of hard to tell you apart in the beginning. Yeah. But like, I feel like you guys, like your accents really come out. It's yeah. like, people say they're fake. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm like, oh, well, you know. If How it, could you fake that? If it was fake, you know, I really, uh, that would be silly because I don't want to talk like this. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like, I did not choose this. The um, R, I'm trying to pinpoint what it is and it's like the soft R. Yeah. Like, oh. And it's like, there's like no R sometimes, uh, like, pack the car. Yeah. It's like, ah. <laughs> Yeah. It's just a variation of ah. It's like ah, fuck off. And you can decode. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's brutal. It's what it is. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Do you and Brie fight? Um, we no. Um, no. Sometimes, as recently, we I'm went like, through a little me. bit of like a little bit of like a <laughs> yeah. Uh, people noticed, and then we had to talk about I mean, it, and okay. that part was stinky ass because yeah. we were. Trying to like have our own little totally. figuring out moment. Right. You're well, allowed to have like a private relationship. But people don't stand for that. Yeah. We want to like, know I think everything. It's fair because like we put everything online and if we're just, yeah. and we're always so like try to pride ourselves on being like super honest all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, and when you stop doing that, people notice because you're Things so clearly off. not acting like yourself or like or you're li- lying whatever yeah so people noticed and we were like i was like oh rats <laughs> Fuck. fucking rats yeah we're gonna have to dress this <laughs> okay it's gonna be a whole thing 
<laughs> and like we ended up having like a conversation. It was very dramatic. It was oh like, my god, what was the conversation? Why was it dramatic? Oh, because we met up at the beach. Oh, <laughs> and like, it was vlogging. like raining. <laughs> yeah. So and, moody. Yeah, it was like big Taylor little Swift. It was like oh. yes. you met in Monterey <laughs> <laughs> at a mansion. Yes. <laughs> and for whatever reason, we were like, oh, never mind. I was gonna say the no, plot please. of the whole show. Please. <laughs> what? No, I was just gonna explain the whole plot of Big Little Lies. Why? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Someone was cheating. Well, yeah. Was- See, I don't want to get it misconstrued here <laughs> right. because none of that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, how do I segue? <laughs> <laughs> For this episode of Long Winded, we've partnered with eHarmony, the dating app to find someone you can be yourself with. You know, here on Long Winded, we talk relationships and dating because I'm incredibly nosy and want to know what it's like out there in the wild, wild west. I was on the apps because, duh, and it led me to men making terrible impressions on the first date at the community table, nonetheless, a vegetarian, sorry, could not be me, and of course, the unemployed. Many of these dates could have been avoided if the apps I I was using were more conducive and thorough to actually figuring out personalities and if I started dating women earlier, probably. Besides the point, we know dating isn't easy, and that's why we partnered with eHarmony. They have a compatibility quiz that helps your personality come out in your profile, which helps you figure out who can be a real match and honestly, makes the profiles more interesting and fun to read. We've seen the dreaded adventure seeker bio one too many times. And actually, I actively avoid adventure and danger. We've seen the ones who only care about what ski pass you have. Mm, I'd like to protect my ACL at this point in my life. No, thank you. The best part about Robbie is that I feel like she really knows me inside and out. We're so comfortable around each other. She's very straightforward that she's basically her own compatibility quiz. And we were able to be our true selves right at the beginning. So there was no guessing about the other's personality. We knew each other right away. So if you're searching for someone you can be yourself with, I'd love for you to try eHarmony. Take their compatibility quiz to get started today. Get who gets you on eHarmony. Sign up today. I'd jump at the chance to have a dog. A hot dog, that is. Dodger dog, if you may. The only real reason to go to a Dodgers game. Or a burger. It's grilling season, but that doesn't mean you have to cut out all the carb-heavy foods you love. Hero Bread reinvented the bread and buns that make any food great. They have fluffy, delicious flavor and texture with no net carbs, zero grams of sugar, and fewer calories, plus protein and fiber. Say less. I actually love their tortillas. They have a great texture and easy to fry on the oven for a good wrap or a burrito, my personal fave. I also have a famous turkey burger recipe that goes great with a Hawaiian bun. And Hero's Hawaiian buns are phenomenally fluffy and sweet. My mouth is literally watering as I speak. Robbie and I love to cook at home and we're always looking for healthier options to stay fit for each other. And Hero Bread allows for all the gain without the pain. Since there's more fiber, less sugar, and more protein in all of their products. There is something for every craving, including sliced bread loaves, buns, and tortillas, and even mouth-watering limited edition bakes like the popular 2-gram net carb hero croissant. Keep the carbs out without compromising flavor with hero bread. Get 10% off your order at hero.co and use code Gabby at checkout. That's Gabby at H E R O dot C O. Yeah. So we like met up, uh, we talked dramatic on the beach, mm-hmm. and then um, 
brought it up with a podcast, and everyone was like, we knew it. I'm like, yeah, duh. Right, literally. <laughs> yeah, duh. Yeah, exactly. You know everything. Yeah. People are they crazy do, though. Slows. They're really smart. Yeah, they can pick up on anything. <laughs> I know it is. It's really nice when it's not about you. Yeah. Because I, I love to. Oh. Same. I'm all in the blind items. Yeah. <laughs> I love our faux moi. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, where I stay. But, yeah, when it's about you, you're like, ugh, you want to think they're wrong, but they're not. What was, like, the fight about? Um, can you hear a pin drop? <laughs> no. What was Dancing Like the Stars like? <gasps> I don't think we finished yeah. that. <laughs> I'll tell you my biggest fight. <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, yeah. You, it's I just... like, also, like, relationships with girls are hard. Yeah. Especially you've been friends since you were 10. Yeah. Like, it's like you probably grow apart and grow back together. Yeah. And, like, we, we've been we've been friends for so long that, like, we'll never stop being friends. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just hit that point. Like, that's that's my that's, that's my family. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. A, oh, another corny term. <laughs> no, but, yeah, you're, re- like, I'm the same way with certain friends. It's like you're just so loyal. Yeah. And, like, you know, like, we're, we're just always going to be pals. And Who was in the right? You? Stop I it. feel like you're always <laughs> <laughs> I feel like listening you're always in the right. Stop. <laughs> Thank you, stop. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, but no. Dancing with the stars. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let's go to somebody else you know, Dave Portnoy. Yes. <laughs> What's like working with him like? Um, see, everybody wants to really no. rally against him. I don't yeah, I mean I have a couple opinions about him. Totally fair, and everybody has them. And you know what? He he is cool about people being like, yeah, I don't really like you either fuck with him or you don't, kind of thing. Yeah, totally. And that's like I kind of you like said you either fuck with a burrito. Yeah, you either <laughs> fuck with a burrito, you know. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. fuck with the burrito. No, no, you don't fuck with the burrito. <laughs> no, but I feel like he is who he is. Yeah. Like it's like there's no like I don't. I mean, I don't know what his motives are, but he's not trying to be somebody else. Yeah, it's like you do wonder. I mean, he's rich as fuck, mm-hmm. so it's like who cares? He invented barstool, right? Yeah, it's he like, claims the internet. That's why I'm like, did he invent the internet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wicked Somebody, smart. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> All the tech moguls in the back are like, fuck this guy. I'm like, wow, dude, we really, we thought we had that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's his now. Yeah. It's Dave's. It's Dave's. <laughs> well, I will say, like, Dave, like, when everybody was so worried about, like, making TV shows and getting on, like, um, network television and all that mm-hmm. stuff, he was like, why don't we just take stuff and put it online? Yeah. And like put it not just on YouTube, but also on our own website. And mm-hmm. I think that is an idea that carried. That, it's the future. Yeah. It's like. Because it started as a newspaper and now it's like. It started as a newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, how old is he? 87? <laughs> <Right? laughs> yeah. Like my mom used to work at a bar in Boston and like he would come in with the newspapers and they'd be like. <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> and yeah. they throw him out. Dave? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, they throw the newspapers out. And, oh. then, and, then, and then him, maybe. Yeah. Now my Get mom's, like, here. obsessed with him. I'm like. <laughs> right. You're like, Jill. She loves fair fame. weathered fan. <laughs> yeah. She's a comedian, too, it seems. She I've tried. heard your stories, yes, about her heckling you. Yeah. So so she's coming to my show on Saturday. Well, she's coming to Whitney's show that I'm opening for Whitney on Saturday. Oh, nice. In New York. And I'm like. I was trying to ask her, I'm like, Mom, do you want tickets? Like, are you coming? Like, yeah. no pressure, like, whatever. And she's like, yeah. And then I'm like, Mom, I got, like, I want to get you a hotel. Like, can you just let me know if you're coming? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. please. Yeah. And she goes, oh, okay. So I did get tickets, but I got them in the nosebleeds because I don't want to heckle. Oh my God, she's restraining herself. She's afraid she's going to heckle. I'm like, well, yeah. you're probably still going to heckle, but now we're just not going to be able to hear you. It's compulsive. <laughs> she's like, I'm really scared of myself. Yeah. I can't take it. She needs a goddamn muzzle. Yeah. <laughs> Does it run in the family? I suppose, but I would never <laughs> yeah. heckle somebody. She She's so silly because she'll be at, she'll be at a, um, like a comedy show and she'll be like, 
instead of laughing, she'll go, that's funny. I'm like, okay. You're like, ha ha. You could do this. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she just she, needs to be noticed. She's silly. <laughs> did you did you watch Baby Reindeer? Yes. Okay, it's giving Martha. Yeah. <laughs> not- yeah. No, it is. No, it is. No, no, don't tell but- her. I, it's a way more tasteful version. Yeah, no, mama, mama just, mama doesn't know about her. <laughs> yeah, she's just so proud of you. Yeah, it's cute. She, yeah, she has to make it known. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, are we a duo, mom? Like, yeah. Are we doing this together now? Get up here. <laughs> Actually, I'm a solo act. Yeah. <laughs> I need my time. I'm like, why don't you go take a lap? <laughs> yeah. Take a lap. <laughs> Get out your energy and yeah. come back when you're ready to sit quiet. Yeah. <laughs> also, well, because I was listening to some of your latest episodes of Plan Brie, will you tell the story of the Boise Boys? <laughs> oh, the Boise Boys. <laughs> oh, that was also why I want to talk about your dating life. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Starting with the Boise Boys. Okay, so we've got the Boise Boys. Uh, it was our last show for the Plan Brie tour. Mm-hmm. And everyone was playing pool. I fucking hate pool. I don't like Same. it. It's People get too aggressive yeah. with their rules. Why can't we just shoot the balls? Literally, it's not that deep. It's like, and they're like, elbows. I'm like, what do you mean? What, yeah, what do you what mean? Do you Where they supposed mean? to go? Like, don't like pool. So, <laughs> so then um, I, I was like, oh, don't like pool, just kind of watching. Then these Hate boys come over and they're like, hey, can we get a picture? And they seem to jazz. And n- fellas aren't usually jazz to see me. <laughs> and I was like, this is kind of cool. This could be kind of nice. <laughs> and so we're taking the pictures and they're like, all right, thank you. And they were so sweet. And I look at the pool table and I look at the Boise boys and I said, oh, I'm hanging with you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And so I went up to them. I'm like, hey, you guys mind if I uh, chill with you tonight? Hey, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just hit it off. They were really young. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only problem. They were of age, but they were young. You know what I mean? Like How young? young? Like 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they couldn't drink? Or could they be? Mama, in- Mama had them covered. <laughs> Definitely. Mama there's, was swinging her There's card. no rules in Boise. <laughs> I'm like, there's Anything like goes. six of you guys. I'm like, yeah. shut up, <laughs> me. Yeah. Drink up, baby. Like, every time they're like, yeah. I'm like, this is so fun. It's like a, like a personal crowd audience. <laughs> Literally, yeah. And you are their queen. Oh, it was Queen it felt B. Nice. Yes. Yeah. And you deserve it. Did I get laid? No. No, but that's okay. Because that would have been. Yeah. Really close to I the mean, law being broken. <laughs> a 20 year old in Boise is probably an equivalent to like a 45 in Texas. That's what I'm they, saying. They learn a lot. They're yeah. rugged. I don't know what the fuck's going on in Idaho. It's a flyover maybe, state, but it's real good people. <laughs> yeah. You got the boys, they're obsessed with you. Love. Age doesn't matter. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm going back. Suddenly There's no I show. love nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly I love Carhartt. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you date in different cities? Do you have road beef? I wish the hell I did. <laughs> I um I actually I'm gonna I'm gonna probably blue ball you on the dating life, but uh-huh. I've been on three dates in my whole life. <gasps> oh my god. And what they were, were they? Oh so bad. No. Yeah, they were really bad. Why? First guy, I had to pretend that my friend was like going through something traumatic to get out of it. <laughs> Second one, um, the kid showed up. Blacked out, uh, and me on every date I've ever been on. Well, me too. But crossed. like, I can like get hold, through hold it. A conversation. Yeah, I'm an adult. So the problem was, I talked about it on the podcast, and <laughs> he made a reply video, and I said he was Ew. so drunk he was slurring his words. He had a speech impediment. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> what so, kind of speech impediment though? Like I don't like like a slurring like, one. Yeah, Is that a thing? I, like, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> He t- did he take it too far? I don't I mean, know. Maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not very fair, but I keep it anonymous. It's just that his friends right. know, so his, he gets all butt hurt. Yeah. Um. And so that was that boy. And then the third one, um, he ended up making a video about me as well. I'm um, dead. 
Oh, this is them. I cannot. Them trying to get some kind of attention off of you. Yeah. It's like, just don't do it. Yeah. They should really, men should be off all social media, especially TikTok. How do you know how to stitch? Yeah, what are you talking about? I barely do. Like, what do you mean you're putting a sto- a, a song on your story? How do you know how to do that? Yeah, <laughs> and can you teach me? But take yours down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's not okay. I know. I've heard a couple things. Like, it's like, I guess I started dating I wasn't really dating like I feel like I'm newly on TikTok and then have my podcast so I wasn't like I mean I will Mm -hmm. I will expose (laughs) (laughs) if I ever get the chance but it's like I've heard kind of boys be like oh I'm afraid to date because I don't know what they're gonna do on social media I've heard that too it's like just don't even yeah you know just don't be a bad guy exactly don't be an asshole because I've never had a bad thing to say about my girlfriend yeah yet (laughs) I'm just kidding (laughs) I love her (laughs) You want to dive into that? (laughs) Roll reverse. (laughs) Our conversation on the beach while it was raining. (laughs) You go and then I'll go. (laughs) Uh, We can both choose not to. (laughs) No, but I can't handle it. So you're better off without them. Yeah. It was just, um, and then I'm like, the only way to meet people is like on Hinge. Yeah, are you on the apps? Are you changing the location in a new city? I haven't tried that because like that sounds like a lot of work. Long distance, can't do it. Yeah. I was like, I'm too busy. I you know. You have to be right here when I get back. Right. In my <laughs> bed. waiting. With dinner ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a beer. And a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and beer pong. <laughs> when I come home, I want to see perfectly triangle cups. <laughs> yeah. And get ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we are going to be heavy on the rules. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be on, like, Hinge and... My 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 main things are your friend's so hot. No more pictures with her. She's gone. Yeah, She's no, out of there. Fuck that. No. <laughs> um what's Dave like? Yeah. The boss. And third one is uh, me. can you I'm- get me tickets to the some guy's show? Because, Shut the fuck yeah. up. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Yeah, it's wicked fucking annoying. So yeah. I just don't do that anymore. No, yeah, you can't. So just, you know, hope for the best. Do the IRL. Yeah. I mean, yeah, would you ever date a comedian? Yeah, it's it's um yes, absolutely. Yeah. Cuz they have to be funny. They have to. I can't just sit around and just be like, "Oh, I hope he's going to be funny today." Right. That yeah. would please, suck. please 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 crack a joke. Like, please. Mm, yeah. Can't do that. Well, you seem very normal like for a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just besides like, you know, the typical like mm. Addictions. Totally. I'm so good. Yeah. <laughs> You're young. Yeah. Yeah. It comes with it. it. <laughs> yeah, I can share it. Like how long? How long is it? How long do I have until it's like, mm, you're not young anymore. Clean up. I'm fully lying about my age. So I think whenever you're ready <laughs> to do that for yourself, right. yeah, until then, nobody can until know I'm the ready truth. To lie about my age. Yeah, exactly. I let people know I'm lying about my age. So I got to stop doing that. I love that, though. It keeps it ambiguous. People, it gets people talking. Literally, yeah. yeah. And you see her <laughs> full yeah. of shit yeah. at the wedding we went to in the Hamptons. There was like this. She was she was like a lady in her forties. She looked amazing, and she was Bethany Frankel. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her. <laughs> Did you see her um, just walk in Paris Fashion Week? Yes, yes, in her walk. Oh my god, it was awesome, and I love yeah. that she she made fun of. Uh, um, Ramona <laughs> for for the same thing. Have you ever oh, seen really? Ramona's walk? No, classic. I gotta see really really good stuff. No, crazy stop. on the eyes. No. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah. It's actually my favorite thing ever. And um, I don't really know like the show all that well. Yeah, to be, I'm like, do you watch? That was like a big. Yeah. That was a big part for me. Um, so I, I you know. I'm Bethany goes her. in on Ramona <laughs> yeah. now that I'm thinking about yeah. it. I'm like, like, you look fucking crazy walking the fucking runway. <laughs> no. One time she got a chemical peel, which this scene actively talked me out of getting a chemical peel. <laughs> and they went on vacation and Bethany, what she was calling her the craziest shit because <laughs> she like left the house with a chemical peel. I'm like, it's something you're all doing at that age, yeah. Bethany. And she like wouldn't stop. But that's just so her. It's just, that's great. <laughs> Bethany's actually on the show on Saturday. Oh, with uh, Whitney Cummings. Doing stand-up? I, I keep asking and I keep forgetting what she's doing. Okay. I don't know what it particularly <laughs> is. I think okay. it might be stand-up, no but I don't 
No, but she will be there. <laughs> well, yeah, most importantly. Yeah, so I'm going to meet her on Saturday. I'm very jazzed. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've met her before. Yeah. Yeah, she's really great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's just, like, so New York. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I obviously cannot say anything bad about her, else she will come to get me. Yeah, you know, of course. <laughs> you know, one of those you need to keep on your good side. Yeah. So, yeah. Was it, this was your first Hampton trip? This, the, well, no, my first one, I actually went to her house. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you don't want to make it your last because yeah. she will exit you from the community yeah no okay so this is no yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. well no I'm just I don't know I feel like that's like a thing she'll be like because she's very well linked in the, the Hamptons yeah in and the Hamptons. she's right what yeah. she says goes I'm like yeah. okay well um I was gonna say something about Josh Richards yeah <laughs> Which, like, I do think it's kind of crazy, the BFFs. Like, Dave is so into pop culture. Yeah. And he's just, like, an old man. It works for him. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's like, um, the best way to describe it is, like, and he'll he'll hate this if he hears it, but it's kind of like your uncle on Thanksgiving. It's like, (laughs) and what are these TikTokers doing today? What what, what is it? Literally. (laughs) He's so in on the TikTok drama and, like, pap photos. He's like, do you think this is okay? And I'm like, what what kind of, like, Reddit, what news are you being (laughs) fed that you know everything about TikTok? Everything. Well, they get a prep sheet. Okay. And he actually is mostly learning it in real time at the time. Okay, that explains a lot. But he remembers everything they've talked about previously, which gives him a lot of knowledge on the subjects. Right. Because I don't even know half well, the people they talk like about. Well, he does like to date young girls, so it might give them kind of a talking point, some kind of bridge. Yeah. <laughs> like, no I comment. would say so. He, yeah. You know he pays my bills. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard he's a great boss. Great. Fantastic. I'm not I even kidding. I think he's actually a, a good guy. He's a good guy. No, he's a good guy. Yeah. He I think, is. Right. I would have worked there if he wasn't. No. All, all things can be true. Mm-hmm. Um, Josh Richards, I know I've seen clips of him recently where he's in the room, but when he used to like zoom in from somewhere and I would see clips, I'm like, he fully looks like he's on a space station Mm -hmm. calling in from Mars, light years away. There was something about his zoom camera and the way he was sitting. I'm like, who is this guy? Yeah. He also looks like he's about to star in like Disney's next big Original film. <laughs> With Xenon. Yeah. Girl, but he's Zener, maybe. <laughs> Boy of the 22nd century. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's made for we him. We need a reboot. <laughs> Actually, such a classic. That was good. What was the... um. Supernova girl. <laughs> Sing it. One more time. Supernova girl. <laughs> that was a good movie. It was so good. And then remember the, remember the, um, there was like three of them or two of them. And then yeah. one of them, you had to look for all the, the hidden Zs. Oh my, I didn't get that. Oh, it was part. good. It was good. No, I got to go back. You got to go back. Go find the Zs. Honestly, those Disney originals. Like, oh. Yeah, I found them all. I They're got, all got Zs. Them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say about Josh Richards. Yeah, fair. You know, that's all I really yeah, think about cool. him. That's cool beans. But right, no, but they're doing great. Yeah, it they, seems they, they, like. they rock that. They rock that show great. Speaking of TikTok drama, <laughs> what's going on with Ken Urich? Oh, um, apparently, um, I did. I did end up listening to it because it, it came to it came to my desk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like we got a briefing came for to you. My desk. And. She, Honestly, she said that I didn't. I didn't yeah. do anything wrong. Right. And no. I was yeah. really nice to her, which checks because I am very nice. But also, yeah. I I find it. Uh, You're I find so it diplomatic. Like, I love it. I am. I am. I. <laughs> but like, I did hear that too, and I have like I. I mean, I think I've only seen her on TikTok. I fuck with her. Yeah. I mean, she talks a mile a minute. It's it's mm-hmm. very entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um. A lot of people, uh, she's like one of those, you know, there's, there's the people, it's like people fuck with them or they just absolutely don't. And I think yeah. she's just like one of those like polarizing people that like, mm. like yeah. you either fuck with her or you don't. And mm-hmm. there's no in between. Mm. Um, oh, I- I'd love to be it. Yeah. There's right? something really good about pol- like Doja Cat. Yeah. You know, it's but it, it's like doing well for her. She's yeah. like, obviously she hates all her fans. Yeah. She's Doja Cat. She's Doja Cat. She's not losing any. And and like, yeah, she wants to be, she wants to do the devilish thing. It's going to make those yeah. people upset and the other people love her more. You know? Right. That's her demo. That's her thing. Yeah. She's in. Satanism. Yeah. Witchcraft. I would Let her literally have it. sell my soul to the devil. Any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> Any second. Name your price. Honestly, it's not, it's not, my soul's not that expensive. And oh, Okay, here's a question. Yeah. Money or fame? 
Uh, I know it's so it's the age old question. I gotta have both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like yeah. I mean it's you like know? it's like why did why is nobody ever ever like right. even thought of the third? Let's just do the third. Yeah, that's a, like you just, can all things can be true. The, the the taco commercial. Why can't we have both? Right. Yeah. What <laughs> about you? Um, I've always leaned on the the side of um. Fame. Fame. Yeah. Yeah. No, right? I'm like, what is, like, the diplomatic answer is, like, money. But it's like, we all want to be famous. Everybody wants to be famous. uh, Since I was a little, little girl. Right. Yes. Like, we're making our dreams come true. Like, look at us. Literally. Yeah. Maybe in a way nobody ever expected on a a Chinese app called TikTok. Yeah. And also. But it's working. Well, I don't know about you, but ever since I was four years old, I wanted to be a podcaster. Yeah. (laughs) Ever since you heard the words Dave Portnoy, <laughs> ever since this I heard was Barstool Sports, <laughs> yeah. I knew this little frat girl had to be At there. Four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is our frat girl history in the making, starting with Barstool Sports. Yeah, when you were four, because you're probably only like eighteen Cause, now. Because yeah, because this was around when I was four, of course. Yeah. You're new around here. Podcasting, that's always, that's ancient. Right. <laughs> that's an ancient craft. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it maybe goes back further than we expect. But it is funny. Like, I have a little sister who's 11. Yeah. And she literally said that to me. And like. Like, which one do you want? Fame or money? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she literally said that she wants to be a podcaster just like me when she grows up. Oh, my God, stop. <laughs> no, she loves and you. And I'm like, that's adorable. Yeah. But, like, it's just so crazy because, like, when I was her age, this wasn't a thing. Yeah. Like. And like you're like lucky for you, <laughs> you have someone to look up to. <laughs> I guess that's maybe how I sound. I, I, I meant I like try um, to do your accent, like, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just like ooh, <laughs> ooh just comes off like your... abrasive. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't at all though. <laughs> I try, I try. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, she, it, it was just funny to me because like this wasn't a career. When I was her age, and now yeah. she's like, when I grow up, I want to be a podcast. Like, yeah. When I grow up, I want to talk about nothing. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, don't do it. Save yourself. <laughs> like, yeah. that's just so crazy. No, um, I know it's always like now there's just like whatever everybody knows. Nobody gives a fuck. Mm-hmm. It's like there's so many podcasts. So me and people's DMs, I'm like, will you go on my podcast? And I'm like, I sound so desperate. I was and this just. Is just- <laughs> okay. I've re- I, I, I have been. I, I will say I'm a newfound fan. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I um of as of the last uh three months, maybe <laughs> three four days. months. No, no, seriously. <laughs> your your voice is incredible. Oh my god, thank you. I love it. It's it's polarizing, thank I, God. And I, I have the same thing with mine. Like yeah. people like you I fucking hate that. She sounds like she has marbles in her mouth. She like <laughs> she's faking it. In your mouth. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's the, a fucking speech impediment. No, it's not. But <laughs> yeah, no, but it's basically, <laughs> yes, it's it's a geographical speech impediment. Yeah. You know no different. We're all where I'm from, okay? (laughs) No, when people say you're faking it, it's like if I had any control, believe you me, I would not sound like this. It's like to to get rid of any kind of criticism, I would do such a thing. (laughs) Right. Yeah. I would fix it. I would fix it. I want to fix everything about myself. I just can't. I just can't. Sorry. I know. I asked like – I fully I asked my dad um, when I was getting I got so much hate on The Bachelor for my voice I and it's like whatever when you're existing in society before you're exposed to like large volumes of people you think nothing's wrong mm-hmm. especially being from Boston you're like I sound like everybody everybody yeah. has marbles in their mouth yeah so when I was like whatever I never heard anything about my voice I had no idea it sounded different and then I asked my dad I was like was there a traumatic event and he was like. Gabby, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and just like walked away. I'm like, oh, wait, okay. I just thought, I yes, thought you say that. Yes. yes <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, it's like he like found my TikTok. He's supposed to stay off all my socials. I'm like, please, dear God, this is not for you. Mm. You don't want to hear anything about my nudes being leaked and being extorted. Oh, Luckily, also saw. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Do I they know. actually have pictures of you? Yeah. 
And is there any other way that they could have those pictures? No, they leaked my iCloud. I oh, I know or hacked it, but they didn't. They didn't even do anything about it. It was a great nude. Mm. I wish they would have leaked it. Yeah, honestly, I'm like in real time. It happened while my girlfriend and I were like at a takeaway kind of whatever Asian fusion restaurant, mm. having like a date night, and then I get texts of my own nude while we were checking out. Uh. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what we're gonna do. She's like, you go to the police. I'll take everything to go. And then we took a second and we were like, this could be the best thing to ever happen. That is, I love the way <laughs> I'm looking like, at kiss that. me goodbye. That is beautiful. Talk about fame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gone. Like, Nobody can contact me anymore. Oh my God. You know what? I wish to fucking God I had nudes that would make me think that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because if I had nudes, I mean, like, which there wouldn't be any You're because God your forbid. <laughs> I yeah. But I just be like, because if I, if, if that would happen to me, I'd be like, oh, well, just, yeah. it's going to be gross for a couple people, but I feel like they'll get over it. You, you're no. like, I'm going to be a star. Yeah. I'm like Kim K. Who. <laughs> she can kiss my ass. Yeah. I send him a sex tape that I don't have. It's like lesbian it's sex tape. Yeah, nothing's going on. I'm just fully starfished. <laughs> or like, no, this bitch does not deserve any fame out of this. I mean, yeah, well, you know, maybe the Mormons are really big right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lesbian soaking? How right. would that work? Yes, yeah. Very specific to the Salt Lake area. Yes. <laughs> That's all. That would be perfect. No, honestly. I'll take an easy ticket. Yeah. But they didn't even go anywhere. He's like, you have five minutes to respond. And I was like, okay, please, 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 please. please. <laughs> it's almost there. And then two hours later, he's like, okay. And then nothing happened. Of course it was two hours later. Literally. I'm like, what the fuck? Now mm. they've just been harassing me. Oh. Uh, are you going to block them or? I block every number. I might um. have to get a new number. But it's like, I just don't want to go through all the trouble. Somebody was like, get a new iCloud. I was like. Are you okay? What is getting an eye like a new eye cloud like? I don't know how that works. No, I'd rather like stick my finger in the garbage disposal. Yeah, than like rebuild this. No, this brick is brick by brick. A literal scrapbook made with my yeah. heart and soul. And right. I don't think you understand. You can't replace that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if we do have leaked nudes. Right. I can't retake all of these nudes. <laughs> these were years in the making. I did delete them all. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, I guess I shouldn't like fuck with fire. That that much or should I? Well, the thing about news is you can always take them again because that is your body. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, memories, memories you can't, but news. I know. It's just like once you go gay, there's really no need. That's yeah. like oh. my heterosexuality dying. Oh, that's actually kind of another beautiful way to look at it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Honestly, I had those poses down pat and now it's like double chin <laughs> you see me at my worst yeah you're like me now oh uh, you're swinging me again <laughs> honestly yeah you got if there's any question people are like how do i know if i'm gay i'm like then you're gay yeah i know if you're questioning you should try it yeah mm. i just have to you know it's a. Uh, Maybe it's I'll go back on the, on the apps and start again right? because th those those lovely ladies they don't they don't want to know what my boss is like. I'm, I was just they, gonna say they don't give a fuck about Dave and they don't want tickets to concerts. So. No, they don't really leave the house. I love it. Same. <laughs> okay, but since you do like talk about pop culture, I wanted some hot takes. Okay, Taylor Swift. Uh, you know what? I I am a Taylor Swift. I like Taylor Swift, but I'm not a yeah. Swifty, and I I I, I mm. do find the Swifty thing to be. A, a, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna yuck someone's yum, you know. I do. What do you mean? I understand that you are Swifty and like uh, not you particularly. Yeah. I don't know, are no, you? I am. You are. Yes. So Swifties, it's mm -hmm. like a whole thing. It's it's very involved. It's like a sense of community. I, I don't take it personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, but, I'm uh, it's like Swifty. a sense of community, and I I totally understand that, and I, I love that for them. I just I can't get that much involved. Yeah. I like Taylor Swift. I like the songs that she came up with while I was in, like, growing up to high school. Right. You're After not that, down deep in the conspiracies, who she's dating, things like that. No. What do you think about her plastic surgery, quote unquote? I didn't hear this. <laughs> she does the Come community. On. What is BFFs doing? They're not covering the so, most important thing. Literally not on that show. <laughs> I saw you there once. Yeah, I mean, they, they they pulled me in when they needed a fucking rebound. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Every once in a while. <laughs> You're like, and I'm here. Mm -hmm. If they need a rebound, rebound. Yeah. Me talking shit about both of them. They're like, no, we don't want you. Like, no, like you're up to bat. <laughs> I'll take it back. I think her plastic surgery looks great. She got it? I don't know. People are saying. 
God it's bless. Mar- <laughs> almost the Marlboros. Those are the Virginia Slims. <laughs> lovely, lovely yeah. cigarette. Um, she like, I don't know, people, where was she? Oh, the VMAs. And it's like, she doesn't even look like herself. It's like, I would give anything not to look like myself for one. And two, she just looks like a harder version of herself. So yeah. leave her alone. I, I, I think she has like tasteful work done. It looks great. Yeah. Also, um, one thing I noticed from the VMAs, which is probably, yeah, no, it is gay. Her outfit. I go, boobs. Uh-huh. I never yeah. see her boobs. Yes. And Some, we saw her boobs, and I was like, mm-hmm. boobs. <laughs> that was the like first thing I noticed. I was yeah. like, yeah, outfits, you know, not like my favorite, but boobs. Yeah, and I was you got to explore. <laughs> yeah. That's your Sandy sexual awakening. That. <laughs> yeah, Taylor somebody Swift. was like, she I got- can't let Taylor Swift be it. I actually have a funny one. What? Giselle. Yeah. In the movie Taxi. Okay, Giselle Bunchen. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that's your gay awakening? Yes, and I had it recorded on the TV, oh. and I would replay it before school. <laughs> before school? It was a pat-down scene. You wake up ready to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was all horned up. Yeah. I was like the first one For to go math, through puberty. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Let's watch Giselle. <laughs> Giselle get patted down by Queen Latifah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Hot. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you left out an important part. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. good. <laughs> My um gay awakening was Nicole Kidman in Practical Magic. Have mm. you seen? No. Oh, you gotta see. She is incredible. Isn't she? She just rocks, but she is all she is leaning towards the same character forever and ever and ever now. <laughs> yeah, it works for her. It works. I mean, it works. we got a, her and Sandra Bullock in Practical Magic. It's like they're supposed to be sisters, but really they're lesbian lovers. Really? I think so. Oh. Yeah. I think so. Sister if you, lesbian. Yeah. That's a fun one. There's, yeah, there's <laughs> lots of Freudian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe never heard it before or heard it here first, mm-hmm. but I swear if you watch it for, Halloween's coming up, you should watch it. I mean, well, it's rainy day today. I'm going to go home and get jazzed. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then let me know okay, where well. it stands with Giselle and Queen Latifah. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, Sabrina Carpenter's new album. Okay, I have not. This uh, this is a really okay, silly take. Pop culture. No, just kidding. <laughs> I haven't been through a relationship. So when there's a song, mm-hmm. when there's an album about like breakups and wanting them back and all this stuff, I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't relate to this. I don't really like it. Yeah. I don't really like it, but I am going to the concert on Sunday. Are he, oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I love no. Please, Please, Please. Yes. No, I bet she's so good in concert. I'm such a hater. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's just, like, not original, but what is. Yeah. But I like that she's, like, her whole brand is just that she's short and horny. Yeah. And, like, that works for me. Yeah, So works. she's really winning me back. After the kiss at the VMAs with the alien, I'm back on board. That's and the Britney thing about Spears me. didn't like that. Did Oh. <laughs> she was, well. she, she got. She got on. She got on, and she was like, "Why? Are, why is she kissing an alien? It's like right. the weirdest thing. Why didn't she just kiss a girl? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like fair. Like you did that. The alien was a girl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and mean, then she got on, and she was like, "I just like to color." Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's like feeling herself after that. It's the first word she's spoken in. <laughs> weeks yeah I'm so glad she's free <laughs> yeah same I know I hope she I heard she was going bankrupt so I hope she does like a Vegas free residency bird. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's only one way there's only one one way to go after rock bottom up up Brittany yeah I go I hope Less so things. yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, Chapel Roan. I love Chapel Roan. Same. I know everyone's all pissed at her for, I, oh, I didn't see the voting thing. I didn't see that yet. What's the voting thing? Apparently she said something. I was I was at a, a comedy show last night in Brooklyn, as I yeah. said, and this came up that Chapel Roan won't stop running her mouth. And the last thing she said was something about voting, but I didn't look into it. Oh, I think she said she wouldn't endorse Kamala. Okay. Which- well, it's like. Why are we making celebrities indoors? Yeah, no, that's true. But she, like, I don't know. She's like, um, she's a gay icon, and yeah, and, and you know, yeah, us gays, we love to vote. Us, <laughs> us, okay, yeah, you're one of us now. Um, and mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I, I, I understand. I get that. But mm-hmm. I, I love that she's a, like a little diva bitch, and just let her be a diva bitch. Literally, it's, I'm like, this is what pop stars are. It's fun. They're divas. She was born like this. Yeah. She didn't pick this path. It picked her. Mm-hmm. 
I and, know. And, and I she's kind of, a boss. Literally, she's telling everyone to fuck off. And I'm like, it's about time. Yeah. I mean, this is what it's like to be famous. I'll switch with you any day of the week. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Stalk me. Yeah. Leak my nudes. <laughs> I know. Well, you, you are, you are tears. I know. I was like, you will never hear from me again. <laughs> Count. Like, mark my words. But no, I love it. I'm here for it. I think it's She awesome. can do no wrong. Yeah. I yeah, I know. And it's. I think recently she did say she was going to vote for Kamala, which is basically endorsing. Yeah. But she doesn't she doesn't like adopt all of the Democrats, whatever policies. Yeah, of course not. It's like, right. They're it's all the same of two team. evils all the time. Mm-hmm. Politicians are bad people. Right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, they're like the same, but just like different. Yeah. They're all working for really rich people. We will have no clue what that's like. Yeah, it's not. Like they don't give a fuck about us. I just, I don't. But. I don't. It's. It's. I can't do political. No. <laughs> Even though yeah. I am. Um. I, I am very. There you go. Um, a gay icon. A, a gay, yeah. a gay, oh, am I a gay icon? Yeah. Yeah. You're wow. well on your way. This podcast Honestly. has changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, okay, Mudang. Pardon? <laughs> you have to go on BFFs ASAP and get a brief, or you should do the brief. It's the little pygmy hippo. Oh, love. Okay, love. yeah. Sorry, yes. it just wasn't ringing a bell without I the think, picture. <laughs> I think that's how you say it, Mudang. That's, I remember names to faces, Mudang. especially hippos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're a dime a dozen. <laughs> but this one's special. <laughs> yeah. I love this little... God, girl. Uh, girl. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to misgender. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Not icon. with the hippo. Yeah. <laughs> it will not be misgendering. We don't actually want to. Yes. Her, yeah, her handler says she's a she. Okay. So that's all we can go that's off of. That's all we can go off of. We're just going to have to trust the source. Honestly, I love her feminine rage. Oh, my God. I'm like, <gasps> she is me. <laughs> I yes. love it. Yeah, love she it. does not want to be bothered. I love every, like, I. this is actually funny. I just realized it right now. <laughs> Every year there's an election. They just throw a cute little animal at us. It's like, yeah. enjoy. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, this, you're going to fucking love this little guy yeah. while we do this crazy is a distraction, shit. Actually, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's working on me. Yeah, it's working on me too. I'm, I'm, I'm checking in. Yeah. Um, okay, I think I think we're good. Um, where can we find you? What are you doing next? Um, I Right now I'm touring with Whitney Cummings on the Big Baby Tour. Still? Yeah. How, for how much longer? Um, I am doing eight more shows with her. Oh my god. Yeah. Very excited. So yeah. um that's that. <laughs> and then um I'm Grace K. O'Malley on on just about everything except for Twitter, but who uses that? Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for having it's me. So this fun. Is fun. Yes. <laughs>